Gente, tudo bem com vocês? São então, hoje estamos aqui no... Em... No... Não sei... Ouro Preto. Não sei se você assistiu o meu último vídeo. We were in Ouro Branco and we were looking at some of the cachoeiras, doing the little trials and walking around mountains. But that was the last couple of days. I don't know if you watched it, but if you haven't, go check it out. It should be on my channel now. So today, yes, we're in Ouro Preto and we're staying kind of in the in the actual town center. Is that some sun cream on my nose? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> so today we're gonna do some little tours around the town center. It's a very historical place, so I'm quite curious to learn about this area of Brazil. Obviously all the history that lies here. It's something that I don't really know much about, so yeah, I'm very curious to learn um, about the history of this place. So first of all, we're gonna go for Café de Manha. Uh, gonna have cafe, maybe con pão de queijo. And after that, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to a gold mine, and it's gonna be like a little tour in one of the mines where they used to take all the gold. Before we start all of that, of course, say inscribe to my channel. He that I'm lucky. Me seeking on Instagram, Fali com Jake. And um, before all of that, I'm gonna show you where we're staying. So guys, here's the Airbnb we're staying in. Take you guys for a little tour quick little tour have one spare bedroom here which is a bit of a bagunza so I'm not going to show you that which is using that storage <laughs> and then we have the main room here everything's a bit of a bagunza to be honest um, and then we have a little kitchen it's a really cool house a very uh what do you think this style of this house is would you say it's Portuguese style chalet chalet, chalet. The windows are very like old school here. You lift them up, I can't even show you because it's too difficult. Gambiaja here, nice little light switch. And then the little chill place, little garden, jardim. It's very beautiful here, very beautiful. You see the town center. You see Ouro Preto, the town center and all the lovely churches are right there. And we have uh, another room up here, which is where we're staying. It's very uh, little small loft. Very nice, very nice here. And it doesn't even have windows. It's it just like, um, obviously it has like something to close it with, like that. But it's just not glass. It's quite nice, I like it. Again, you can see the cathedral, very beautiful. So, there you go. So we're here in Praça Tiradentes, which is like the center of Ouro Preto, named after Tiradentes, who I need to learn a lot about as well. I don't know about much about this guy, so I'm gonna, gonna enlighten myself and learn a little bit about that guy. A lot of hills in Ouro Preto, so we're taking a little rest up here because like everywhere you walk there's a hill and it just like tires you out so quickly. Now we're gonna move on to the next place for Cafe de Mania.
beautiful coffee. Beautiful ponche queijo. Ponche queijo with chiminas. Next, we're gonna try and head out to these mines. And it's like a, I think it's like a 15 minute drive from here. So we gotta go back to the house and then take the car, drive over there and do a little tour around there. So we just arrived in Mina de Passagem, which I think is one of the biggest mines in this area. It was owned by the Portuguese and then it was also owned by England. We're about to take the tour. We've got to take a little train kind of thing down there. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to have a little tour guide. He's going to take us around and tell us some information. Que brilhante, o olho perfil, mas eu vocês conseguem ver melhor. É a perica. O ouro de bobo ou o ouro de touro. Melhor dizendo, é o ouro falso. Uhum. Então, é, o escravo tinha conhecimento, né? De que era o ouro verdadeiro do que era o, o ouro falso. Esse é falso. Esse é falso. O ouro, ele vai sair fosco, opaco. Uhum. Só que o ouro encontrado aqui, ele vai ser em pó, diferente das minas de ouro preto, que encontramos perfeitas. Então eles sabiam de diferenciar né? o que era ouro e o que não era. Um dos motivos é por, por conta disso que os escravos passaram do português para a Inglaterra. Então, e era bom também que a Inglaterra já tinha conhecimento de exploração. Uhum, é, ele falou que tinha lá. Sim, eles já exploravam minas de carvão. Né? Uhum. Então isso aqui foi fechinho para eles. É. Só que eles não tinham conhecimento de, que de que exploração é? do ouro, sim. Ao passar do tempo, né, quando eles descobriram o ouro bem aqui, no quartzo, aí sim. Aí, como aqui trabalhava já algumas várias pessoas, né, então eles sabiam que toda a junção que tinha o quartzo leitorzinho lá de ferro, encontraria ouro. Essas rochas de lá de baixo foram pinturadas. Sim. Aí você vai chutar super fino. Esse aqui no final da batalha, bem douradinho. Bem aqui. Esses copos. Trazer mais pro outro copo pra vocês verem melhor. So, that was the tour. Very interesting to know that, like, how England ended up owning that mine. And basically, because the Portuguese were indebted 
to the English royal family, so they had, they had to give them some sort of reimbursement, and they gave them that mine. So the English took over it and basically started importing all the equipment. Like some of this equipment here is from built in England and imported to Brazil for the guys to use to mine for more gold. The conditions were very bad for people to work there. And obviously the worst thing is, is that like <laughs> it was all taken, all the gold was taken and taken back to Portugal and back to England and they just kept it for themselves and none of it was, none of the money was ever invested in Brazil I assume because it was all just effectively stolen. It's very sad really and then you could see like at the end the guy showed us the process of taking the gold from the dirt and you could see like how little gold there is now. I believe it's, it's owned by a family from Rio now who use it for mostly tourism. I think it stopped mining in that mine in 1985 but at the time they were they were working there and also doing a little bit of tourism while people were working down there um, but it got to a point where there just wasn't worth taking any more gold from there because there was just so little left. It cost more to to take the gold than actually sell the gold so now they use it for tourism and they even have some concerts down there and you can have dinner down there. Imagine like you were working there and you could see like the process of actually taking the gold from extracting the gold from the, the rock is it seems very like a very long process. Interesting stuff, interesting to learn about this area of Brazil and, and what happens in this part of Brazil, obviously the slavery and the robbery of all the gold from this area of Brazil. It's, there's a lot to learn about this area of Ouro Preto, so it's good to come here and, and learn about it. So this is some of the equipment that was sent from England. As you can see it says Cornwall there. And before I believe the Portuguese were doing it by hand and then when the English took over the mine they imported a lot of equipment and they started doing it with machinery basically whereas before it was all done by hand. So this is one of the many churches in Ouro Preto. I believe there's 13 churches in Ouro Preto total, but as you can see from some of the, the scenes that I've shown you already, there is like a lot of uh, sort of Portuguese architecture inspired churches. This one was designed by Alaginho, also known as Anta Antonio Francisco Lisboa. Um, he was called Alaginho, which means little cripple in Portuguese. So he was named Alaginho because he had, he had a lot of physical disabilities. His dad was a Portuguese immigrant and his mother was a slave here in Ouro Preto. And his dad came over as a carpenter from Portugal and basically his skills were so in demand that he got elevated to an architecture. So a lot of Alaginho's work was inspired by his dad and hence like that Portuguese influence. He also had this disease which crippled all his hands and basically effectively left him with no fingers. Apparently he tied like tools to his hands and started doing like his work with tools, the tools tied to his hands. With his mum being a slave, he had to kind of fight for his right to be an architecture, like a, a recognized architecture. So he was mixed race and he had to kind of like 
really emphasize his Portuguese white side in order to be recognized as an architecture here. So a lot of interesting facts about this guy, um, stuff that I never knew before. So the designs inside the church was by a painter called... Mestre, Mestre Ataíde. <laughs> so the woman inside is, is more darker skin, darker hair, more curvy. He was inspired by his own wife and painted what was something that's completely different to what you usually see in churches, especially European inspired churches. Very interesting stuff and a very interesting city in general. Então, terminou o dia descansando na rede. The most perfect way to end the day. It was very good. I enjoyed today. Enjoyed Ouro Preto a lot. It's very nice to go to like a a different kind of Brazilian city town. Um, something new for me. I learned a lot as well. I learned a lot about the the history around this area, which is something that I really wanted to do. You know, the amount of videos I watched back at home about Brazil. Um, I remember what I didn't even know where Ouro Preto was, you know, anything about Minas. So it's really cool to come here and actually learn it, experience it in, in person. Ouro Preto is, a, is such a beautiful city that has like a lot of places to see, a lot of places to eat, a lot of places to drink. It's very nice. I, I would recommend it to, to anyone that's from Brazil. I would recommend it to anyone that's not been to Brazil before. Definitely recommend it. It's, it's just really cool to, to experience. Uh, a, a historic part of Brazil. Also, the food in Minas is living up to its expectations already. The food here is very nice. I like it, especially in Ouro Preto. I don't know if it's just because it's very touristy, so there's a lot of kind of gourmet foods, if you want to call it that. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to heading over to Belo Horizonte this weekend. That's what I'll be doing. So that'll be the next video. I'll be in Belo Horizonte. Um, so I'm looking forward to that and seeing some of the places there. We'll be going to a market tomorrow. Let me know if you if you have been to Ouro Preto before or if you would like to go to Ouro Preto. Let me, let me know what you think about Ouro Preto in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think about it. And uh, yeah, that's it for today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, that I'm lucky, give a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos about Brazil because they'll be coming. They'll be coming soon, and um, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Ciao.